Good day viewers, Walter here. Got my rifle wrist out today. I've been trying to do a little target shooting with a new air rifle. I'll do a review on it today. But I ain't been able to hit the broad side of a barn with it. And I've been blaming it on the gun. I shot and shot yesterday. Here's the target. I'm aiming at the red bullseye. Everything is down here in this left corner. So no matter how I adjusted the scope, it was moving all up and down the target out yonder. But the problem is, I'm right eye dominant. I always have been. But my compounded problem is I have strabismus. A uh, problem with my eyes due to my Graves disease. So my right eye isn't looking exactly where it should be looking. It's kind of crossed a little bit. So the whole time I've been shooting with my right eye, I'm aiming where I see the bullseye, which is here. But the bullseye is really over here somewhere, and the gun's putting it all in this area here. So we're going to start all over, and I started shooting left eye yesterday after all kind of shooting trying to couldn't figure what the problem was and the last two shots I fired with it were right up here in this circle right here close to the bullseye so we're going to try to adjust with the scope and get it with start shooting left eye I built my stand for a right eye dominant person but I can reach around this post and shoot with my left eye let's see how it comes out cardboard up out here on my piece of wood board, that, oak board that's nailed to the fence post. Paint's still wet so I'm able to stick the target on there but we'll throw a couple of nails in there just in case. See if we can do any better with this rifle today. Yeah, I kind of treated myself to an air rifle down to the Bass Pro Shop. It was on sale. The price was so reasonable, I decided to buy it. Alright, let's go do our show. I might drag the 22 out too and shoot it a couple times, but right now we're going to shoot the air rifle I bought. Alright, my friends, today's review is on the Crossman Guide Hawk. Here's the box it came in. I can read you what it says on the box. 3x9x32 by by scope. That's this one here that came with it. I told you I was having trouble hitting the target. I was so convinced it was the gun's problem. I went and bought a new scope. This is the scope that came with the gun. And I probably didn't give it a fair shake. The one I bought came with a different kind of ring, these small rings here. So I took the rings off the, that came with the gun and put them back on the gun to mount the new scope. Show you when we get out to the gun. This is 22 caliber. I'm sure they make a 177 caliber too. Uh, brake barrel air rifle up to 950 feet per second. 22 caliber. They advertise it to be 70% quieter. It's got a nitro piston, 25% more accurate. Well, I was pretty well convinced it was the gun, not me. I've always been a crack shot, so how the hell could I be missing targets all of a sudden? I forgot about my eye problems. Anyway, the scope that came with it is made by Center Point, and it's pretty dandy little scope. We're going to set up my camera out there and shoot at the target a little bit and see how we do. Uh, hone in on the target with my uh, video camera. Some people are able to look right through the scope with a camera, but I'm not equipped for that. But you're going to see me miss the target several more than I'll hit it, I would imagine. So today we're reviewing the Crossman Guide Hog. 
bought it at the Bass Pro Shop. You can get them online too. Well, here's the specifications for those gun enthusiasts. I'm just an ordinary enthusiast, but some people want to know more about the guns. Power source, nitro piston, mechanism, brake barrel, 22 caliber, air gun pellets, foot pounds of energy, 21. Mounting rail is a Picatinny. The gun weighs 7.44 pounds. It's definitely heavy. Overall length 44 and a half inches. Has a rifle to barrel, trigger, two stage adjustable, ambidextrous lever, safety. Material hardwood. Velocity up to 900 feet per second. I think it depends on what pellet you're shooting. Lead pellets is what I'm shooting. 800 feet per second. Uh, problem with shooting out here, got a little bit of wind today and got to count for winded, so I can always blame my poor shooting on the wind. Probably the best place to do this would be indoors. Yeah. indoors. Now here's the air rifle I bought. There's the new scope I got. I don't know diddly about the proper way to adjust the scope. I just mounted it on there. And do my best. Let's take a shot at the target. You gotta have a pretty good grip on you to, to cock this rifle. Cross one kind of premier, pellets here. 400 grain pellets. And I got a box of what are they made by? I forgot who they're made by. I think I started with a G. I'm kind of clumsy, so I'm going to put some shots in this paper cup. Put the lid back on before I accidentally spill these things. I'll be looking for them for a week. With I think I'm getting into the target with my left eye. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. I had two in the target yesterday anyway. I'm going to make sure my pellet is seated in there. Can't blame it on that. Now the safety This little thing on the trigger. Pull it back like that in the safety zone. Push it forward and it's ready to fire. Let's put a rag under the gun. I don't want to blame anything on not being properly cushioned. Alright. Alright, I've got my video camera set up on a tripod aimed at the target out there. Let's see, that ought to be close enough for my viewers to see. <clears throat> Alright, if I look at the target with my right eye, right there is lined up on the red dot in the bullseye. Now let's look at it from my left eye. Left eye sees the dot somewhere to the left of it. What the hell was that? Let's just shoot. Take the first shot, I'm 
aiming at the red dot. I really doubt I'm going to hit it though. Walk I'll walk out there and put a mark on the target where it hit. Alright, I've made no changes to the gun whatsoever. We're going to put a couple more shots in the target. Okay, maybe the first shot was awry. Maybe I didn't aim right on the first shot. Though I made no changes to the gun. And those two shots, the last ones, were right here. I'm going to blame the first one on the windage or... I, 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 I didn't shoot her straight. Looks like I need to go right just a little bit and up a little bit. This air rifle is definitely quieter than a 22. 22 is three times as loud as this thing. What I do like about this new scope I bought, it's made by Center Point 2. Bought it at Walmart. It was $54 or something like that. Almost as much as I paid for the gun. But what I like about this one, the crosshairs will light up. It's got a battery in this thing. You can turn it red or green, anywhere from dim to bright. I want to memorize what changes I make in this adjustment just in case I'm going the wrong direction on this scope. When it says up or left, I'm not sure if it means... Raised it up or down? Let's go up. Two clicks. That might have been three. It's hard to count the clicks. And let's go right. Let's see. We went up. I'm going to write that down. Let's put two rounds down range with a new adjustment. I'll walk back out there and check the target. Alright. Memorize what changes I'm making this adjustment just in case I'm going the wrong direction on this scope. When it says up or left, I'm not sure what it means. Raised it up or down? Up three, right, two. Let's put two rounds down range with a new adjustment. Walk back out there and check the target. scope adjustment and fire two more times and the decision is unknown let's see shut down here 
and over here. It's possible I turned that thing the wrong way. Looks like I went the wrong way on that one and the wrong way on this one. Can't go by that. This would be dead on center if that was the... I gotta put two more shots out here and see where they go. Okay, it was here and here on those two. I'm shooting, shooting low. I need to raise it up. I went the wrong way on my adjustment. I need to, let's see, I went up two clicks. I need to go the other direction, four clicks. Walking out here to this target, it's taking its toll on me in this heat. I have to go in and change my shirt and continue this some other time. All right. We definitely brought it back up. Let me see, that one's already there. One down here and one over here. Dang. Maybe both my eyes are screwed up. They're both shooting in this area. So if I shoot at something, I need to set the crosshairs, say right off over here to hit the bullseye. Just for, the, for, for kicks, let's aim right here. Then bring my magic marker and see where the bullet hits. Target today. What I need is somebody that can see straight to come out here and sight my scope. Then we can't blame it on the gun after that. Alright, I was aiming here. And I hit here. I got it closer to the bullseye. Maybe I need to aim higher up up here. See, I aimed right about in here, in his here. So let's aim 
just in the edge of that light green right there. See where the round goes. <laughs> Don't sight a scope by the way I do it. I'm just fishing for the target now. Probably getting a little review on the gun. I can't really blame it on the gun. I gotta blame it on the shooter. I don't think I'm jerking the trigger. I'm squeezing it. I used to could shoot. I'm gonna do two more rounds. One in the air conditioning for the rest of the day.